Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to actually show you me getting ready to go out for a night on the town. Um, I'm going to do this mitt out sound. I am going to uh, not really talk to you throughout this video. I'll probably lay in some voiceover afterwards explaining things, but I really just want to concentrate on getting ready to go out. Not to mention my allergies are, acti are acting up today and I don't want you to have to listen to the sniffle. Yes. Here we go, trying something a little different. Get ready with me for a night out. I started out with my e.l.f. hydrating primer, which I picked up while I'm here in Nevada. And I really like this hydrating primer while I'm here in this very dry air. It seems to work really well for me here. Whether it will work for me when I get back to California remains to be seen. Loving my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I've spoken about it a few times. Picked up a new makeup brush while I was out uh, shopping. It's also an e.l.f. brush, and I'm really starting to sound like an e.l.f. commercial. I apologize for that. <laughs> They're not paying me. Uh, but I am notoriously cheap and hadn't picked up a new brush in ages and uh, really pleased with it. It was a delight to use. Uh, so much better than the old makeup brush that I had. My skin has been looking a little spotty and irregular lately, so concealer has really been a good friend of mine. In fact, one of the things I might pick up soon this summer is a color correcting primer and see if I can't cancel out some of that redness around my nose. Uh, but using the Amazing Concealer for now, this is just an old brush that I had for concealer application, but it was just a little big for applying it, but I find it's really great for blending it. So I put it on with my little brush and then I blend with the bigger brush. Then more blending with the e.l.f. foundation brush. I'm probably a little heavy-handed packing that uh, under the eyes. It will tend to go into creases when you put it on that heavy, but uh, you know, sometimes I'm just a little heavy-handed with it, and this was one of those occasions. Felt the need to apply a lot of sleep. What can I say? I'm in Las Vegas. Sleep is not something that's happening a whole lot. I have been wanting to play with uh, illuminators and highlighters and, once again, notoriously cheap. Uh, this Smashbox product is something that I... Wow, I've had this for years. And truthfully, the texture of it has gotten a little bit dry. But, you know, it works in a pinch and I'm, I'm really trying to experiment more with highlighting. And uh, see the effect I get there. I'm way heavy-handed with the powder. I know most women my age are not as enthusiastic with the powder as I am. My skin is very, very oily. I don't powder throughout the day, though. I tend to blot, so this is my only application of powder generally during the day. Just the once when I first put my makeup on. Sometimes I have to hit the pimple a couple of times. Not sure what that was about there. That was very dramatic. My typical Maybelline eyebrow pencil in blonde. Yes, I threw away the one that was in light brown, so I'm not going to pick that up accidentally anymore. I keep shopping for a new eyebrow color, and I look at the taupes, and they really look to be just about exactly like this, this old eyeshadow that I have that I just keep using, so I just keep using it. I mean, why should I spend money if I already have something that's doing the job? If I saw something out there that I thought would be markedly better, I'd pick it up, but I'm just not seeing that item. Everything's like, okay, that's gonna be more of the same.
My MAC yogurt has become my favorite base color to just put on. I just sort of get that on everywhere else so things don't stick too much. Because I'm traveling, I have a limited number of products with me and I would have liked to have done a smoky eye where I had a couple of different eyeshadows, but I wanted to do it in the gray color family. Only had one gray eyeshadow with me. So I put on a nice thick black liner first before applying the eyeshadow just to give it sort of a darker tone right there at the lash line. I will still go in afterwards and add more liner on top of the eyeshadow to give it more definition. I have not yet run out to buy a new gray eyeshadow. I have not been a fan of gray as an eyeshadow during the entire, you know, most of my life where I've had red hair. It just didn't really work. Now I'm dealing with a new color palette. So I've been trying this gray eyeshadow that I had from some gift bag like eight years ago. I've been playing with it, seeing how I like it before I run out and buy any more. When I do my eyeshadow, I go right above the crease and on my right eye, it tends to be a little squinty. So I ended, end up needing to bring that crease up a little higher. I like to go in with the MAC yogurt afterwards and soften all the edges. So it just blends very, just feathers out really nicely. Going in with more eyeliner. Start getting those layers that you have with a smoky eye look. Tight lining. Under the eye. And then my angle brush for feathering everything out. And I went with more of a theatrical eye makeup this time. Um, ballerinas, uh, when I was a ballerina, our stage makeup, you'd keep it open on the ends and sort of do this wing up and wing out. And I sort of did a modified version of that on the eyes. It's, it's an extreme look. It, this is a look that you do when you're gonna be seen from a distance or for a lot of photographs. It does open the eyes up, but it is a very made up look. There is certainly nothing natural about it. Loving my Benefit eye pencil, my eye bright. Gonna have to buy a new one soon. You know, I figure I'll buy a new uh, Benefit eye pencil about once every five years. I don't wanna like go overboard or anything. You never ever see me do liquid eyeliner. And that is for a very good reason. It's because I suck at it, which you will see. You're never going to see me doing those beautiful, precise cat eyes, those nice sharp lines flicked up on the ends. I love it when makeup artists do that on me, but I cannot do it myself. I'm sorry, I just can't see that well. Such is life. My usual NARS blush. This is the Orgasm Laguna Duo. I don't often use the Laguna, but use a lot of the Orgasm, because really, who couldn't use more of those? Mascara, right now just doing the upper and hoping that I don't get spots all over the place. Do the lower lashes in a few minutes. Now at this point, I believed that I was going to be wearing my red dress. So I wanted to go with a red lipstick. I went with the Revlon Matte Balm in the Romantic, which is a more of a sheer red. My Chanel lipstick is a very solid, opaque red. And when you are on a date, or, you know, with a, a significant other and you would like to be kissed, it's best not to go with a heavy red lipstick. Something that's kiss-proof. Now the hair. 
I decided to wear one of my wigs this night. So prepping the hair, the combs on the wig really need to grab onto something. And with my baby fine hair, they tend to slip. So I give them a better thing to grip onto by doing just a little tease at the root and some hairspray. And then I let that hairspray get good and dry. So I ran upstairs to hit my hair with the blow dryer and came back and somebody was very curious about what was going on. This is what happens when you leave the camera running. Naked kitties show up. <laughs> Kitty cat came to help. For a detailed explanation of how I put this wig on, I have a video called Going Gray the Easy Way Wigs. So, same wig. Wigs are always a fun change of pace, uh, particularly if you've got a significant other who is obsessed with long hair and you happen to have short hair because it was really trashed and you cut it all off. It's still nice to give them what they want once in a while. Um, I hope I don't lose my feminist card over that because it really has nothing to do with being a man and a woman. And I think that goes for anybody. If you have a significant other, regardless of what sex you are, um, if your significant other has a preference, I think it is a wonderful gift to give them occasionally that thing that they like. You think I still don't have my cheerleader costume from high school and I don't break that out every once in a while? That sure comes in handy. It's an easy gift to give somebody you care about. And it's fun for you for a night too. So I planned on wearing my red dress. That had been my plan. And I was informed, oh, don't get too dressed up. So I had to make a sudden switch of plans. I was just told that I shouldn't get dressed up, so I'm not gonna wear the red dress I thought I was gonna be wearing, which means I'm getting rid of the red lipstick and going with something a little more neutral. Okay, change of plans, scratch the red lip, remove that, go with more of a nude lip. I went with my standard Revlon Matte Balm 001 Honey. It's my base that I pretty much put on first before all the others, because it just ends up fading to nice lip color. With the more neutral lip, I wanted to pump up and actually get a little liner inside the waterline of the eye, more of a smoky eye look. And for a moment, I think I'm done. I think I'm ready. So I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me tonight and I hope you have a great weekend. I will talk to you later. Please subscribe to my videos. I will have product information for you right down below. Have a great day. Okay, I changed my clothes again. So I changed my lipstick again, but here is the end result. Uh, this lipstick is the same shade that I wore when I wore this dress when I ate the taco. Uh, so this is me. Took the lights down, so just natural light, but finished product. Hope you like it. A little weird, but man, I have the sniffles. Boy, this is making me bonkers. <sighs> Please subscribe to my videos. I promise not to sniffle at you. No, I can't make that promise.